Six people have been arrested after investigators discovered they're responsible for dozens of break-ins and thefts in the Lake Wildwood community. Several departments within the Bibb County Sheriff's Office band together to create the Lake Wildwood Task Force. 41 NBC's Brittany Gonzalez is here with more. Bibb County deputies say it was people like you and me who provided information that led to the six arrests. They say tips from vigilant neighbors made the difference. Not even tight security and gated access could stop dozens of home break-ins in the Lake Wildwood subdivision. Investigators believe the ring is responsible for more than 70 burglaries in the past six months. Ashley Duro's neighbors were victims and one house was even hit twice. These robberies have made us very nervous. Um, it's very scary knowing that each house on the side of us has been robbed and broken into. Um, it made us wonder if we were going to be next. The rise in burglaries forced Bibb County law enforcement to create a task force to focus on the problem in Lake Wildwood. And with the help of the Neighborhood Watch, now residents like Ashley can be a little more at ease. A lot of help comes from the locals because they know who belongs and who don't. 30-year-old Sanford Edwards Jr. and 18-year-old Deontay Miller are suspects and also residents of Lake Wildwood preying on their neighbors. Collected all the incident reports from Lake Wildwood and started comparing them to the uh, pawn files. And we saw a, uh, a pattern. The same people started pawning stolen items out of Lake Wildwood. Four others were also arrested, facing charges for burglary and selling stolen items. Since the arrest, there have been no break-ins. Now the Bibb County Sheriff's Office is working to return all of the stolen items. We need a little help on trying to get this jewelry identified, but let's get it back to the rightful owners. Five of the suspects are being held without bond. However, Deontay Miller was released. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office has several items, including jewelry, power tools, and clothes that were recovered. If anyone believes that these items could be theirs, contact the Sheriff's Office at 746-9441.